thinking is if I can get one corner square, then the rest should be square. Providing I remember to set the uh, cross pieces back a quarter of an inch from the end. The reason I want them back is so that I can get the weld right in here. And of course it's easy on the on this side, but on this side if I have this right at the front, well it's not going to be quite as strong as if it's back a little bit. At least, you know, that's my uneducated opinion. This is the front of the chair, this is the back of the chair. And this surface here would be the bottom. This will be the top where the plywood is going to be fastened down. The plywood will actually only be in this section right here. And that's why I ground those welds flush so that the uh, plywood base of the seat will fit nice and flush against the metal. Now remember I had said that I had numbered my pieces so that I wouldn't get them mixed up? Well, I got them mixed up. And this piece here, I welded in, only to find out I should have welded a different one in, because this one wasn't supposed to have holes in the back. But you know Murphy's Law, if anything can go wrong at will, and it did. So I had to take the piece that didn't have holes drilled in it and drilled it out, and I don't think it's going to weaken it very much. You may be wondering, Why did I not grind these flush? Make them look nicer. Well, it's my opinion, and once again, it's my uneducated opinion, that when you remove metal, you remove strength. And being as that these welds are not professional, I need all the strength I can get. This, this welding goes all the way around. Anyway, we're getting there. It is the next morning. And this morning it is my plan to work on this bracket, depicted here in orange. Now this is the bracket that the arm is going to lock down onto so that the back can be stopped in different positions. As well as capping the ends, shown here in yellow, I have to change the bolt mechanism or probably it's going to be a, just a spike that comes up. And I originally was going to have it at an angle. But being as that I have such poor luck drilling in metal with that drill press, I'm going to drill the hole straight rather than at an angle, and then bend it over afterwards. Okay, everything that needs to cap on it to get rid of the sharp edges is capped. And the plan is, as I mentioned, I'm going to take this spike. This spike, by the way, is just a little over a quarter of an inch in diameter. I'll be drilling a hole down through here, oh, about three quarters of an inch from the end, right down through here. Then I'll be putting the spike up from the bottom and then welding it on the bottom and it'll be sticking out oh, probably about three quarters of an inch. And then the idea is I take this whole thing and I weld it on here. The spike will be sticking up through here. And, uh, yeah, and, the, oh, and then, then I'll, of course, I'll be bending it over afterwards. Not a whole lot, maybe just a little bit. The idea of having it bent over is so that when I'm lifting up on the armrest, it doesn't accidentally pop out of, uh, you know, its, uh, its place there. And, uh, well, well, you'll see, I guess, eventually, once the, the chair is all assembled, what I have in mind here, it's kind of hard to describe it. Anyway, that's the plan. Now here's another case of where I didn't follow my own advice, and that is to make sure that I had all the holes drilled in the pieces before I welded them together. This is where the back is going to hinge onto the seat frame, and I forgot this hole. Now as you can see, it's not impossible, but it sure is awkward. Now I want to make good and sure that I get all the remaining holes drilled out before I get the pieces welded on. Well, let's see if I have better luck than I did the other day.
Okay, now we'll try the second one. And I think this is the easiest way to get the oil down for the second hole. Well, I don't know about where you live, but here in Winnipeg, it's Halloween tonight. So I gotta quit. As much as I'd really like to keep going, I'd really like to weld these two brackets onto the, sh onto the chair frame. You know, see how they look. But I just run out of time. Gotta get ready to hand out the candy. You know what the hardest part is about handing out candy to those kids? Not eating it myself.